Oh boy, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 5. I am. <sighs> now, this is one it's like when worlds collide! There are good skateboarding games. There are bad skateboarding games. And then there's games like Tony Hawk Pro Skater 5. It's like it deserves to be put in its own category of, what the fuck is this? One of the first things you're gonna notice about this game is the graphics. It's not even like the graphics are that bad, they just look weird. It's almost like Telltale Games decided they were going to publish Tony Hawk, and this was the result. Clem, is that you? And even putting graphics to the side, the structure of the game alone just feels, well, sloppy. Now to be fair, the game still has the same control style I loved about all of the older pro skaters, but it just feels like it was put together last minute in an effort to make some quick cash. But why would a company ever want to do that? Hmm. Seriously though, one of the things I was disappointed in the most was the fact that there's no track playlist. It may sound stupid, but I love that about the old Tony Hawks. On top of that, there aren't even any voiceovers in the game. Not a single skater recorded their voice. When you fall down, you'll be lucky if you even hear a grunt come out of your skater. They don't speak, they don't talk to other skaters, nothing. In fact, your only chance of seeing other skaters is if you play online. This is because the developers decided not to put any AI in the game whatsoever. You're basically skating around an empty environment unless you can connect to the internet. The game does give you the opportunity to complete objectives with other people online. The only issue with this is, almost all of the objectives are incredibly repetitive. And every map you go to, you're pretty much handed the same ones. Speaking of levels, did I mention there's only 8? Now I know this isn't that bad, but with the next gen release, I was expecting at least anywhere between 10 to 15. Now I know I've had a lot of negative things to say about this game, but don't get me wrong, there are still a few cool things worth mentioning. For instance, the skater bios. It pretty much tells you about all the professional skaters in the game and how they got noticed. And if you can manage to save up 46 grand, you can even skate as Octodad if you really want to. So I mean, I guess that's a bonus. And of course, you still get to create your own parks, share them online, and have other people rate them and get to skate them themselves. Mix this together with some power-ups that don't really make sense. And you've got yourself some... Uh... Now at this point, you're probably wondering whether or not I think you should buy this game. But in the end, it's not up to me, it's up to you. And you have to ask yourself the ultimate question. Is it worth three of these? No. Now before you guys start pulling out your wallets and heading over to GameStop, let's do a quick recap. The cons are, poor graphics, sloppy structure, no music playlist, no voiceovers, no AI, it's repetitive, and there's only eight levels. As for the pros, well, um... Are you ready?